there's these natural computers all, all throughout nature. And previously, we didn't recognize them or understand them as computational objects. Um, I think that's what's just so interesting about this new era of maybe what we might call philosophy um, is that we have this new language. We can, we can invoke the metaphor of a computer and software and program and universality where, um, as we spoke last time, the best minds on the planet didn't have access to those, to those thinking tools. And so if that's really true that there's these computer-like objects all over the place, and now we have computer-like objects that might be uh, instantiating consciousness, namely a, a GPU running a large language model, which obviously would be highly debated whether or not that's conscious or not. Um, but if we take that in the abstract sense and extrapolate that out a decade or so, uh, to me it's it's clear that we will have a hard time, or it might be fruitless to argue whether they are or not, because they'll be so similar to the kinds of things that we see in, in humans, um, that maybe they're actually all throughout nature. 